the triangle, the rectangle, the circle, the square. Now you finish the others. How are you? I hope you're fine. It's your teacher annunciator. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Drawing patterns using shapes. Do you know we can make different patterns using these shapes? If I decide to take this triangle like this, put it there, then I decide to put there an oval. I decide to put there again the triangle. And then again the oval. That is a pattern. Anything that repeats itself, that is a pattern. Alternatively, I can decide to use the rectangle facing up. I put the circle in between. I put again the rectangle and then the circle again. I have made a pattern. It is a pattern. Okay, this one was from the triangle, oval, triangle, oval. So even if you're told, complete the pattern or copy the, cut, the pattern, you are able to see what exactly has happened. I can decide to put the square, the rectangle, the square, the rectangle again. I'll still have made my pattern. So these are different patterns made using different shapes. What if you have been now told to draw those patterns? This one is made of triangle, oval, triangle, oval. This is rectangle, circle, rectangle, circle. This is square, rectangle, square, rectangle. I can even decide now to draw a three chained pattern using the triangle circle and the square We said like this cannot be a pattern. So you must repeat that thing several times. That is a pattern. If you are told to complete, you will be able to complete because it is a triangle, circle, square, triangle, circle, square, triangle, circle. It continues like that until you reach where you want to reach. That is basically a pattern. So what have you, what, what, what are you supposed to do? Today, I want you to draw the missing patterns. This one decides it face up, then the next one faces down, the other one faces up. Again, this is facing down. And then I have here a dash, and this one is facing down. So complete that pattern. Then this one, I decide it becomes a A rectangle, a circle, 
a triangle then here i have a dash circle rectangle triangle rectangle circle triangle so you've been told to fill in the missing shapes i can decide to draw a rectangle on top of a circle a rectangle on top of a circle a, a, a triangle on top of a circle and now you're supposed to do what to complete that pattern so when we meet then tomorrow i want to see make these patterns first in your book draw and color nicely i want to see beautiful colorings don't color outside the box and draw using a ruler or a circular object where you're supposed to draw something circular then you'll come again draw these ones and complete the patterns any question and before that you can even do you know you can make a house out of these shapes i can decide to put my square under the rectangle then the under the triangle then the rectangle then again the squares on the sides to make the window that is my house using what the shapes we have learned so you can also draw something of your choice using the shapes we have learned so that when you meet tomorrow you want to see very beautiful colorful books with all the shapes and the patterns of the things we have learned now i hope from now you are able to name all the shapes you are supposed to make patterns you are able to draw the pictures using the shapes we have learned any problem any question up to there it was nice having you around and i just want to wish you all the best thank you